Hello my creative chums. I am about to do my very first acrylic pour. Now I've been looking at people doing this on the internet and thought I have got to have a go at this. Now I haven't rehearsed anything so this could either go beautifully or it could go horribly wrong. I'm not going to bore you with all the details of how I've mixed it and what I've got. You can find those in the description block. Um, box below. All I'm going to tell you is I've got a little canvas here, I thought I'd start small, and an old baking tray and I've just put some drawing pins in the back just to lift it off the surface. Okay, and I have mixed, I don't know why, I just fancied it, a lime green, a purple and a gold. So I'm going to start and I have absolutely no idea how this is going to go. Even if that's pourable, I think it is. Oh, hang on, no, you're supposed to mix them together. Just a moment, let me get another cup. I told you it was live. Right. Bear with me a moment. Okay, right, so what I'm going to do, um, oh, let's pour some of the green in there. Then some of the purple. Oh, talk about going outside your comfort zone. And some of the gold, which looks a bit thinner. Okay, I won't put it all in because I might want a bit extra. Now, all I'm going to do now is just, if I can pick up a stirry thing, is just do a sort of crisscross thing. And then, I'm just going to pour it. Oh, this doesn't look right at all. Well, it doesn't look as if I've got way enough, but let's just let that... It's only because I'm being mean, probably, for the first time. Let's just scoop that off. Okay, now, yeah, I see now why um, people who do it use a lot more medium because you need the weight to move it. But no panic, um, this has got a medium in it, which is like a retardant, and I'll go into that later. So let's just have a jiggle about and see what happens. And let's just take, I'm probably going to have to, if I do this again, I'll have to adjust the camera. Let's just get this moving a bit. It's interesting to see how the colours haven't actually just mixed into some horrible muddy brown, which is what I was sort of expecting might happen. Okay, I don't think I've mixed it thin enough. I think I should have add, added maybe a bit more water. In fact, I didn't add any water to that at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just let that sit there for a minute. And I've got some water here. I'm just going to put it into the, 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 the cup that I'd used for the mixing. Just swish that around a bit. That's far too much. Another cup. I told you it could all go horribly wrong. Put the green in there. Let's just mix that with that bit of water and see what happens. I mean, where would be the fun be if I rehearsed beforehand and got it all sorted, eh? You know you like it when things go wrong. Of course, I always have the option not to publicise this film if it goes horribly wrong. But let's see. Okay. Now this is very thin in places. But I'm just going to... Yeah, I think that might actually be better. I don't have great expectations of this first one. 
but I'd rather do it sort of a bit haphazardly and just have a bit more fun and you learn better do you remember I've always said with my other courses you learn more when things go wrong now I'm just going to be very brave and just spread that up and spread that up and spread that up and this is where I believe it starts to get interesting you see these little pits here these little pop marks this is what they call cells and I believe that if you attack it with a brulee burner mind the plastic that you've got underneath of course you make them oh look look at that appear oh yeah this is going to be fun and I guess those go on appearing but what I need to do is mix some more or just get a bit more out fill in that gap and the idea is to get it over the edges as well this is why you have all this drip business drip tray underneath I did press record didn't I oh yes thank goodness now I obviously haven't thought that well about where I'm putting everything because my colours aren't spreading in any sort of brilliantly thought out way so I'm just going to just going to blob it on to fill the canvas so this one won't win any prizes at the Royal Academy but never mind um, people usually wear gloves as well because they're sensible and what you can do is you can just sort of smudge it over it depends how well you smudge I suppose as to how good it looks in the end you can scoop this up and run it along the edge a bit like icing a cake can still see that oh I don't know that's getting quite interesting actually I was beginning to think it was not salvageable Oh, it's dripping into my hand now. Oh, crumbs. Yeah, I guess maybe practice would have been a good idea. See, with a small canvas, I can hold it underneath. Let's just scoop that up. I know it's a bit of a melange, but it will be okay to go on the edges. Oh, isn't that interesting? Wow! I can see a new painting passion coming on. Okay, now I just want to see if I can just get, never mind the mess, use up what's left of this green. Obviously a little more research on my part is called for. 
Where's the fun in knowing what you're doing? Ooh. Please make sure you're wearing an apron. Oh, rather that side's okay. Are all the sides covered? You see, this is a great base for lots of things. I have some really good ideas of what else we could do with this. But let us just at the moment... Am I still within camera? Yeah. Just... Because this will... It, it's so runny, it's got a long way to go before it dries. So we can play with it a bit. And we could just take one of these stirry things... And have a little play. Oh, isn't that fun? How fun is that? Oh, it's scrummy. Right, where's the torch? Try not to set fire to the place. I think I, would, I will probably try a heat gun as well as the torch. Oh, Ooh. I might have just heated that a bit too much. There's no point watching videos and things. You've just got to get your hands dirty and have a go and see and try to avoid the plastic sheet underneath. Looks like snake skin. Well, it looks, my creative chums, as if I've got a new painting hobby. And I'm going to experiment with lots of different things because I'm going to put powders and embossing powders and all sorts of things on top of this. Well, not this one. Um, when I do another one and I've planned a bit better. As I'm always telling my painting students, planning. 99% of the job, but here I just wanted to be spontaneous. Right, well, there we are. Um, shall I zoom in for you to have a little better look? So this is ordinary acrylic paint mixed with a pouring medium and some PVA and a little drop of silicon oil. And it's the silicon oil which they put on running machines or treadmills. It's very tiny little bottle. Hang on, let me zoom you back out again. And you just have a drop or two of that. And that is what gives you these cells. But I clearly have a lot to learn. But I'm delighted to do that. It was great fun, if a bit messy. And um, watch this space. There will be more to come.